Gonna wait till I see the Stereo show, as usual. Don't want to level one him. Actually, a really good trade. It's gonna get T before me, though. This guy's just like trying to push ASAP. This is weird. Why is he trying to push so much? I thought he was maybe going to want to roam into the jungle. Farming so well. Will be tested. We take this. Dude, I'm actually not mining the Darius lane with Ignite. I feel like I've gotten so much better at this lane in the past week or two. We gotta try to push, by the way, quick here. This is gonna be sketchy. This is going to be sketchy. I don't know if I can break this. I probably shouldn't have used my E. Once my E's back up, I think I can. Good thing I had bone plating coming up there. All right, we got the wave fixed. The problem is, actually, he's back in too. Okay, this is good. It's really good. I'm not gonna go steel caps this game because they have a, they have Zach jungle. I am gonna go steel caps later, but just not 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 this early. Nice good thing Draven has exhaust that really turned up. seconds for my ignite then we can kill this guy that's the window I'm gonna try to play off of
I guess he's back in. He's gonna lose a wave off that. That's sad, Kane emote. It looks so sad. really made the difference there. Why does it say his Q did zero damage? How does how does that make any sense? Wait, what the heck? Do you guys see my pole going? It was trying to like reel him in. That was really weird. I've never seen that before. I saw the chains there for a sec. That would have been so funny if it pulled him back when I respawned. It's kind of a bummer though. I think I could have played something better there. That should have been a kill window for me. But as usual, even if you're winning the Darius matchup, it's never like... It's never a free 1v1 early on. Champ is still really, really tough until I get some items. I know, that was weird with the suppression. I saw he got, like, suppressed for a while. Like, as I died. I've never seen that before. My grinder is still, like, on this guy, too. You guys see that? It's actually kind of distracting for me. I wonder if he can see that too. My grinder's invisible, but it's like the animation is chilling on him. It's really weird. I don't know. I'm one minion off eight. I probably shouldn't go for this. I need my level 9 right now. I gotta be really careful of playing up in the lane because he has Ghost right now. He can just ghost me down this entire lane if I walk too far up. It's gonna shield some of that bleed. I wonder if that's going to be on him for the entire game. I wonder if it goes away when I kill him. Or, or when I throw like a new grinder on him. There we go. Into the grinder, buddy.
it's really important if you're running ignite by the way you want to do that first thing in your combo because you want to get the most value out of the damage and just get that grievous on him asap in case he queues i always do that at the very start of my combo though if i'm going all in Ignite OP. Ignite is OP against Darius. It honestly is, man. I'm telling you, it makes the difference. I honestly don't really like Ignite. Like, it always feels pretty bad mid-game. But it feels so good into Darius, man. Like, it's one of the matchups where I'm definitely willing to give up TP. Because it just makes it that much more playable. It's really nice. Okay, I guess the grinder's off of him now. We just had to re-toss him into the grinder. Goliath online. A Katarina on a rampage. Very surprising. Said nobody. I actually don't remember the last time I saw a Katarina not go on a rampage. Like, no joke, dude. I actually can't recall. Stone ulti messed me up. I thought that would be okay still. Sadly, the Jinx flashed away from me as well. Oh, nice. I'm surprised that actually killed Jinx. That seems like a lot of damage on that Lux ulti. Ooh, that Draven E was so nice. Dude, nice job. That was really clean. We didn't even have vision of that Zack, too. That was just reaction. Dang, that guy's good. Got a Triforce. He's got no boots. Goliath online. Yeah, no boots is free ease for me. A 340 movement speed melee champion. That's exactly what I want to play against as an air gut. Is Cleaver Rush good? I think it's insanely good, man. I've been liking it personally. I've just been trying it in every single matchup, and honestly, it feels like the best starting item for me. It really does. I'm gonna try to snipe this guy. Need a little bit of time. Boom, got him. All right, not too shabby. But yeah, I made a I made a command. If you do exclamation point cleaver, it'll show you all the things that I really like about cleaver. 
There's honestly just so many good things, man. There's so many good things. The movement speed, the DPS, the build path. It's a little bit cheaper than Titanic 2, which is nice. Everything feels really nice about it, to be honest. Dude, this guy still doesn't have boots. He probably just forgot. He probably thinks he has boots. I've actually done that before. I remember like 20 minutes in, I realized I had no boots once. I was like, why do I feel so slow? I think actually somebody in the chat pointed it out to me. They're like, dude, where's your boots? I was like, oh yeah. Sometimes with their guy, you just feel so slow anyway. Like even when you have boots, you just don't even notice the difference. All right, there's the boots. He got tier two. From no boots to steel cap in one go. I got three levels, actually. I can force here. My team's not really in a good position, though. We got to be a little bit careful. Wait till they get some more top pressure. Could also just try to rotate and team fight. It's not a bad idea. I'm down for a team fight. That was such a nice e-buffer on the Darius E. That was really nice timing. That was just a really good team fight. I feel like if we kill Katarina early, we kind of just win the team fights. That's going to be the focus. Let's go for an Eclipse game with Infernal Soul. I think we can pop off. They got double tank. Next dragon is actually soul for us already. That's crazy. It's going to be a 22 minute soul if we get up. Yeah, this is Master Jungle Bunny. We're at uh, 16 LP right now. TP. Music makes you want to play Skyrim again. I know, man. I know that feel. I guess he has a ward over the wall there. I was not ready for that. Unstoppable. There is no coming back. 
I don't know. I'm pretty chunked. Dude, it'd be nice if I could get this red for the heals. I welcome you. banking on that. I was really banking on that snipe. That would have been so sick. the Q prediction. I thought we were going to go for the end there, man. I was feeling it. I think they maybe can, actually. Maybe. Nah, maybe not. This is feeling so good, man. I'm already level 15. Hey, thanks for that sub, by the way, a Grumpy Cabbage. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the 13, man. Wow. That's a Prowler's Kha'Zix. And Infernal Soul, too. That's got to feel good. Ooh. Wait a minute. Did that Lux ulti just hit Darius? I think it did. How on earth did that land? Unless that was something else that boosted him. That was the weirdest hitbox I've ever seen. I want to pull him away from the turrets. Look at the damage. GG, man. I've been really liking the Darius matchup, man. I gotta say. So much nicer than these range champs. I feel like I'm either getting, like, range matchups or Darius. Darius is the only melee I've been playing against for some reason. Darius and Mordekaiser. I don't know what's up with that. That was nice, though. I'm, I'm glad we closed that out early, because they had a... They have the Jinx Sona. That can always scale into the game. I can always scale really hard. 31.6k damage, man. In Masters, too. That feels good. 